The purpose of this educational docu-series is not to cancel or strip Big Pun of his rightfully owned status as a beloved legendary artist. I don't wish to throw dirt on his name, nor do I want to dishonor the dead. This series was created to shed light on Liza Rios' incredible life story. I decided to grab as many details as I could, present them to the fans, and pray that this much needed context surrounding Liza's life with Big Pun can somehow offer hope to other women who need to see that if Liza Rios had the courage to rebuild her family out of the searing ashes of domestic violence, anyone can. First of all, my husband, I've been with him for a long time, since I was 14. We grew up together and he is clearly a sociopath. And I've been pistol whipped. I've gotten 16 stitches in my face. I got three, four stitches in my lip. I had six stitches in my fingers. I was pregnant with my daughter, I'm grabbing my stomach. And at one point when he pulled the knife, then it cut both my fingers, and then it ended up cutting this tendon. Right. And then I could have got surgery, but then you see, I'm squirming pregnant. right now because I yeah. I can't. So I, I then I had some movement on it, and then I was supposed to go to therapy because they wanted to do surgery. But since I was pregnant, they said let her do therapy, and once she has a kid, then you know we could do surgery. But then he didn't allow me to go to the hospital, so I can't really do the therapies. It was just crazy the relationship between him and Liza. You know, you you look at Liza and be like, yo, Liza been through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why the fuck she's still with him. She stood with him. Liza did things for my grandson. I don't think anybody else would do. She would do things for my grandson that I don't think I would have done for my husband in the same situation. In the winter of 1973, little Liza Pacheco was born in the Bronx, New York. This is her story. It may be easy to overlook stories like this one, but the Liza Rio story deserves every speck of spotlight that it gets. It's more than a cautionary tale of severe domestic abuse, heart-stopping addiction, and dangerously unconditional love. It's an awe-inspiring testament to resilience and survival against the odds. But before we begin, I must introduce the man who would become Liza's husband. His name is Christopher Lee Rios, but he's better known by his stage name, Big Punisher, or Big Pun for short. Big Pun is known worldwide for being one of the best wordsmiths and lyrical powerhouses to ever exist in the hip hop industry. Just yesterday, a street was named after him in the Bronx. You may recognize him from tracks like this one that catapulted him into superstar. But to truly understand why people consider him a highly underrated lyrical mastermind, you have to hear these verses. And for those of you who appreciate poetry, enjoy playful literary puns, and have an interest in what goes on inside the mind of a madman, you might want to listen up. The harsh realities of life have taken toll Even Jesus Christ forsake my soul Please tell me what price to pay to make it whole Take control, I'm making dough but not enough to blow J.O.'s, they lost my flow but they yo I don't trust the soul, the soul I know we need to These evil streets will meet you halfway and eat you Alive trying to survive illegal I leave you lost, mount you on the cross Whip you like a horse, sacrifice your life to a higher force Then I'll starve your corpse, it's the Bronx of course Recognize the accent, one of the last living Still in action, general assassin Catching any rack, blasting any tax Smashing any chest Passing any test, Charles Manson in the flesh. Any last request before you meet your maker. So with your reaper, wake up, shaking up a storm like a need a baker. I'll take it straight to hell to fill your heart with hate and incarcerate your fate in Satan's fiery lake. Then I lock the gate. You've made a great mistake. Shouldn't have come here, you changed your fate. Your brains will make the debut on the table when I raise the stakes. The pain is great, but only for a second. It starts strong, the lessons just when you rest in the Armageddon sets in. Left them a sober stress, yeah. Bless them with no regret. Welcome to hell, son, the threshold of death. While the lyrical content is explicit and downright criminal at times, it's easy to understand why the hip-hop community became so enamored with Big Pun as a wordsmith. And although this is the same man who made history as the first Latin solo artist to go double platinum, even earning a Grammy nomination on his debut album, 
This is also the man who drug Liza Rios through one of the most severe cases of spousal abuse ever to emerge from the star-studded celebrity scene. One of the most outrageous aspects of this case is that instead of confronting and overcoming his problem with domestic abuse, Christopher Rios decides to turn his abusive persona into a lucrative, larger-than-life character called the Big Punisher. The Big Punisher helped him earn millions and galvanized countless adoring fans into egging him on and encouraging his abusive antics. During which, none of them realized that when he returned home from a performance, he was still the Big Punisher, except he was punishing Liza. Dead in the middle of little, little, little.